Big Truck, Little Island by Chris Van Dusen. Out on the ocean, one bright summer day, bound for an island still five miles away, a tugboat was towing a truck on a barge, a truck that was hauling a load extra large. The cargo it carried was all under wraps, tied to the trailer with buckles and straps, facing a twisty and treacherous ride to get to the field on the far eastern side. The barge reached the ramp, the truck trundled off. It bucked up the bridge with a wheeze and a cough. Then slowly but surely, it chugged up the road, lugging its 20-ton oversized load. One narrow roadway transected the aisle, and the driver had driven it less than a mile when he came to a switchback terribly tight, then felt the whole payload shift off to his right. The trailer was tipping, everything slipping. The wheels in the way back were no longer gripping. They skidded and slid off the road and then... Thud! They landed and lodged in the soft, sticky mud. Two cars in a hurry arrived from the north. Then from the south came a third and a fourth. They waited and wished that the traffic was flowing. They had things to do, and they had to get going. Meg had a swim meet at three at the pool. She swam the fly for her team at the school. And Barry was already late for ballet. He needed to practice his badminton frappe. Pete had a project to finish with Paul a working volcano with lava and all. And Sue had to be at the dog wash with Bunk, her sheepdog who tried to make friends with a skunk. Parental frustration stewed started the show. How could they get where they needed to go? They stewed and they steamed, their faces grew red, then all of their children convened up ahead. Since Meg lived by Barry and Barry knew Pete, and Pete was Sue's neighbor on Sycamore Street, and Meg was an art club with Barry and Sue, they quickly decided as friends what to do. Barry said, listen, let's all exchange cars. We'll borrow yours, and then you borrow ours. I'll switch with Pete, and Meg swaps with Sue. And later, we'll trade our cars back when we're through. The parents agreed the solution was great. By borrowing cars, they'd no longer be late. And so they departed and went on their way to the pool or the dog wash, to Paul's or ballet. And as for the big rig, that too was okay. A wrecker was summoned and towed it away to the far eastern field where later that night, all was revealed to the people's delight. The...